Hello, my name is Keith Palmgren. I am the author and lead instructor of the SANS SEC 301 Introduction to Cybersecurity course. And I wanted to take just a few minutes of your time and kind of explain the course to you a little bit to try to give you an idea of the kind of things you're going to see when you attend. Now, one of the first things we want to talk about, though, some people who come to the course tend to be a little bit afraid that maybe they're not quite ready for this level of training, uh, that maybe they'll be lost, that they won't be able to keep up, and so forth. Please put your mind at rest. Uh, about 99% or so of all the attendees who come to this class are in their very first information technology course, professional level information technology training. And this course is specifically designed just for those people. It is designed to help people who are brand new to cybersecurity begin their journey down this path. We do not leave students behind. Instead, we help those students to succeed. Yes, we will cover some highly technical topics, but each of those topics is explained fully by instructors who are highly skilled and experienced in cybersecurity and bring that experience and their knowledge and their skills into the classroom and share them with you, the student. Now, as we move through the different sections of the course, we begin by laying out a good solid foundation with some foundational topics such as, you know, binary and hexadecimal and operating systems and how computers work, a, a little bit on artificial intelligence, and, and just basically laying out the foundation that you use throughout the rest of the week. Now, cryptography on Section 2 is one of the more complex topics in this industry, and so we take our time and explain it throughout an entire section with a lot of diagrams and, and so forth, focusing on the process of cryptography. When we move into our third section, we're going to talk about authentication, authorization, and networking with passwords and passphrases, permissions, file permissions in both Windows and in Linux. Uh, we'll also get into topics such as single sign-on and a little bit of networking and some network processes. When we get into our fourth section, wireless security, both Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, we also move into some information on network attacks, social engineering, some specific types of attacks, and diagram them and explain how they work. And of course, we'll wrap up that section talking about malware and, of course, anti-malware. In Section 5, we talk more about our defensive technologies, the firewalls and DMZs and other types of defensive technologies that we need to be aware of. We get into web security. We get into some cloud and, and backups and patching and system security topics, etc. And that's going to take us through our five sections. Throughout those sections, we have been doing hands-on labs. In fact, there are a total of 14 labs, about nine hours, or if you'd like, about 25 percent of your class time is spent with, with time with hands on the keyboard. In some labs we use Windows, in some labs we use Linux, in some labs we use a little bit of both. But about 14 labs, again about nine hours worth of lab time uh, throughout the, the five sections of the course. Now through all of this, you're also going to be given access to additional materials. For example, the sec301.com website that you'll receive a password so that you can access it once you come to the class. It has over 680 quiz questions and you can take the quizzes. You can either get 25 random questions comprehensive through from the entire course or you you can take 10 random questions from, from each module. You can take these quizzes as many times as you like. There are also videos of me performing and explaining all 14 of the labs in the course uh, on the sec301.com website, as well as some other helpful material and so forth. There's also a supplemental quiz book that has almost 400 qu quiz questions in it. They're not the same questions as you find on the website. They're a completely different set. Obviously, they're, they're pretty similar because they cover the same material, but they're not the same questions. But all of this preparing you for the GISF certification that will help take you further in your career and forward your career and, and really help you get started. Again, my name is Keith Palmgren. I hope to see you soon in a SEC 301 Introduction to Cybersecurity course where you're going to be able to truly jumpstart your cybersecurity career.